Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, nice to hear. Okay. Hi, good evening, everyone. We're going to start our, our class tonight uh, talking just a little bit of your experience this day. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start. Okay. Today, I, I'm going to tell the story okay, of something that I did to, today during the day. So next, you are going to tell us something that you did. Okay. I'm going to start. I went today to get a um, pedicure because I had an ingrown toenail and it was very um, painful, okay? So I had that today. Now I feel better and my feet are okay. Now it's time for Sylvia. What can you tell us? What, what did you do today during the day? Did you do anything special? Uh, hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, today, I didn't do anything uh, interesting. I just went to work. Uh, in the morning, I washed my clothes and then I went to work okay. and nothing interesting. Only <laughs> okay. That. okay, then now we want to listen to Leslie. Tell us something about what you did today. Did you do anything special today? In my case, teacher, uh, I just went to work. Oh, okay, okay. Is your job interesting? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you like your work? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. Now, let's see, Rita, did you do anything special today? Anything interesting or different to Hello, your routine? Teacher. Hi, Rita. Yes, my job is uh, nothing root routinary uh-huh uh -huh. um uh, today go to the um, quesaltepeque 
Okay, I went. Uh, make to... the. I went to uh -huh, Quetzaltepec. Okay. Nice. Uh, I, um, I make. I no sé cómo se dice. Taller culinario. Made. Made. Uh -huh. A cooking or a culinary training. Okay. 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 Good. Now I want to hear you. Tell us. Tell us. Don't worry. <laughs> Again, Rita, no. let's start. Let, uh, <laughs> I went to Quesaltepeque and I uh, did, uh, and you say that. I went to Quesaltepeque. I did uh, made culinary training. Okay. Good, excellent, okay. excellent, okay. nice. <laughs> now let's see, Rosa, did you do anything special today? Any different to your routine? Uh, in, in my routine, the, the work, um, uh, why a lot of work, um, the chance, uh, the boss, um, it, uh, in, um, Town hall uh, has um is 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 difficult. <laughs> yes, you're right. Um, yeah. New 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 bus. <laughs> new bus. Yes, new bus. New processes. <laughs> new everything. So you had to learn new, new things new today. Process, uh, okay. okay. Good, yeah. nice, Rosa. So it, you are going through a new process, right? New process. Um, okay, good. Like, well, you have a new boss, new process. Okay, yes, <laughs> we understand that. Yes, it's true. Okay, but are you okay, Rosa? Um. Yeah, okay. It, okay. Yes. Uh, I I I like uh, um, retos. <laughs> oh, okay. Challenge. Challenge. I like, I like. Challenge. I I I I I I I like challenge. Okay. Um, Okay, good to hear that. Good to hear okay. that, that you are okay and you are fighting for your uh, good well-being over there. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome, everyone. Now we had a little talk with those who came in on time. So now we are going to start our class taking the attendance. Okay, just let me go and get the file, please open, uh, because I had it open, but it closed. Okay, let's see. Okay, today is Tuesday the 4th. Um, let's see, we want to see. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz, not yet. Oh yes, there you are, nice. Hello, Angeli. Hello, teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla María Luz Guevara Callejas, Leslie Fernández Ochoa, present teacher, okay, María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero, present teacher, okay, uh, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea, present teacher, okay. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón, present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. 
Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, there we are. Okay, everyone. Now we did a kind of, of a feedback, right? We were talking uh, in the past tense. What was the last class about? Do you remember what we did last class? What was- Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. We, we learned about change uh, negative sentence to positive sentence in past. Okay, excellent. So we are using did and didn't, okay? And we are using also WH words to ask information questions, okay? Now we know how to ask or request for information. And also we know how to give that information, how to answer those, those questions. So tonight we are to the next unit. And this is the last unit, guys. This is the last unit. Are you excited? Yay, teacher, we are excited. <laughs> okay, just let me share my screen with you for you to see the, uh, one moment, let me get there. Okay. There we are. Okay, this is unit four. It's about accounting, accounting, okay? Accounting. What is the objective of this unit? Okay. Can you please read the objective for this unit? Um, let's see, Maria Fernanda, please. General objective. What are we going to do in this in this unit? Okay, uh, participants will develop competence that will allow them describe future of product, describe process about selling or buying online, know customers' opinions. Uh, towards a product that sell, they sell, and have a, a conversation with other about financial activities. Okay, good. So in the whole course, module four, this is our objective. The first thing we did was to learn how to describe the features of a product, unit one, right? Then we described Process is about selling or buying online, unit two, right? Then we learn to know customers' opinions towards products they sell, products that company offers. So we knew about satisfaction and dissatisfaction. And now we're going to learn to have conversations with others about financial activities, okay? This is unit four. What are we going to learn in this unit, unit four? Let's see, we have three objectives, okay? We have three objectives and they are very um, punctual, very um, definite, okay? Let's see, participants will be able to describe financial activities that my company or someone else's has. What does it mean? That we're going to learn to describe describe to say uh, what they are, how were they, why do we do those financial activities or the companies da, do that activities, those activities, I'm sorry. So we are going to learn to have these kind of vocabulary to describe. To describe, we use adjectives, okay? We use adjectives. So we have to learn in this unit, to write adjectives, to write adjectives about objects and people related to accounting, okay? And we are going to use those adjectives in sentences, okay, to have a conversation. This is our main goal. Our main goal is to speak, 
to listen to or to understand when we listen. We are going to read and we are going to, and we are going to, practice. we're going to, okay, yes, we are going to practice, but we are going to read, we are going to listen to, we are going to speak, we are going to listen and, and write, okay, and write. This is very important in this unit. In this unit, we are going to learn how to write these adjectives. Now, let me please, let me please go there to the next part. Okay, these are the activities that we always do. I usually don't show these slides of our agenda and our things because it takes some time, but it's very important for us to see what we are going to do to follow a line of activities, okay? Uh, the feedback game, it was the last one that we did yesterday, okay? And then we are going to do the introduction. We did it already. We presented the objectives. Now we are going to the account vocabulary, accounting vocabulary. But first of all, first of all, we want to know something. What is a financial statement? Do you know what a financial statement is? Do you have any idea what is a financial statement? What do you think? Any idea? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me, please. Okay. Uh, financial statement is a resume of activities that the uh, companies have in the usually in a end of month or um, in the specific time, whatever uh, in, in your need. Um, the financial statement is a, uh, uh, how do you say muestra, teacher? Uh, sample. Okay, sample. Or the, showing. Showing, okay, showing the information about assets, liabilities. Okay. Um, owned, uh, I don't know, I don't remember patrimonio, teacher. Ah, uh, owners. Okay. Or, Excuse owners. me? Owner's property thing. Yes, I yes. Okay. Owner's property, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. No financial Thank statement. you. Okay, I, I, I read the another question. A financial statement is prepared by, by accountants, um, usually signing by uh, property um, accountant and external audit. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm an accountant teacher. <laughs> ah, so that is why you're an accountant. Yes. Excellent, Carlos, very good. So you are going to be our teacher here because you know I know general things, but my career is not accounting. So it's nice to have a student like you in our class because now you know the processes, the real processes, right? Okay, then uh, let's see. What did Carlos said, say? Uh, he said that a financial statement is what, Rosa? What is a financial statement? Let's answer this question. Uh, it's not a question. It's a way for you to give an answer, okay? A uh, financial statement is? A financial is a report. Excellent. Okay, a report. A report. Finance. Okay, it's a report. Okay, because we are talking about only one, but if we say financial statements in plural, then we say our reports. You get our, it? Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you, Rosa. Now let's see. What does a financial statement contain? 
Do you have any idea? Carlos told us what it contained. What it contains. Silvia? What does a financial statement contain? Fausto? Francisco? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you, Francisco? Welcome to your class. We're talking about what is a financial statement? What is it? Uh, now, Carlos and Rosa said that a financial statement is a report, Francisco. Now, can you please tell us what a financial statement contains? It is uh, maybe personal information of, of client or of customer. Do you think so? Personal? Info Everybody agrees. A financial statement? Well, a kind of it could should. be a fine a financial statement, a, a kind of it, maybe, right? So we are talking here about money, okay? Here we are talking about money. So what does it contain? Uh, Carlos told us something, Francisco. He, he said these words. Maybe these words are new for some of you, okay? Assets, uh-huh. What else? Liabilities. Uh, he said owners, properties. And also we could say data about shares, for example, right? Shares and shareholders. Maybe these words are new for you, but at uh, the time that we are developing the topic, then you were going to learn these words. Now, can you have an idea or give me an idea? Uh, what is the use of this financial statement? What are the use for it? What are the financial statements used for? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you have any idea? Carlos told us something very important. He said to show, okay, to show the real situation of money cash yeah. or the cash right of cash flow and what else did you say carlos uh, yeah. yes finances uh-huh profits profits mm -hmm. This is to show or to uh, visualize, okay? To visualize and its administration, okay? And it's used also to make decisions, okay? To make decisions, okay? to make decisions. If, if we have to fire personnel or if we have to uh, train new personnel or maybe we need to, um, to grow our sales, maybe we need to grow our production, right? Or increase our production, maybe to grow in the market or some decisions that we need to make, okay? Uh, for day two, 
for they to um to take the the right direction to, to obtain profits obviously right to obtain profits so now let's think who prepares a financial statement do you remember what carlos said why could be the company okay by a company yes but let's see by the companies account yes correct Rita. by the company's accountant but they can also Account. have yeah. external <laughs> audit okay Yes, auditors, external auditors. So we, we know now we have an idea, right? Of what a financial statement is. Now let's see, do you know any kind of financial statements? Financial statements, types, do you know about that? Okay, we are going to answer these with our manuals. Let's go to our manuals, please. And let's go to page 39. 39. Okay. Are we okay there? Now, let's read this. Cash flow, cash flow. Everybody please, cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Income statements. Income statements. Income statements. Income statement. statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Okay, then these are the different financial statements and these are the definitions, okay? These are the definitions. So let's go and check the definitions together first, okay? Let's go to see the definitions first. Let's start with cash flow, okay? Okay, there we are. Josa, can you please read these definition? Activate your audio, please. Read the cash flow. The cash flow. Yes, please. Yes, please. The cash cash flow reports on a company's incoming and outcoming out cash. It's Operating, investing, and financing activities. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. What is a cash flow report? Ah, this report is um the one that reports on a company's incoming and out outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financing activities, okay? Report on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. It's operating, investing, and financing, financing activities. 
Okay, now let's see. Is there any question about this definition? No question. Okay, everybody, anybody? Somebody? Mm -hmm. what, what meaning investing? Investing is the money that you, that, um, okay, this is to invest. It means that you put some money to have profits, okay? You invest to have profits, okay? Okay. Maybe you buy something and then you sell it to obtain um, profits, right? Okay. It could be an example, okay, now. Okay, now let's go to the next, the next type of financial statement. Okay, this was cash flow, cash flow. Now let's see, income statement, income statement. Can you read please this definition, Leslie? Hey teacher, uh, summaries are companies, income, expense, and profit over, uh, over a period of time. Okay, thank you very much, Leslie. What idea give, give this definition to you? What idea, what is income? What is income? Walter? Angeli? Maria Fernanda? Silvia? Income. Do you see the first two letters here? In it means that this money or the money that comes to the company, it's an income. Okay, it's an income. It's the money to comes in to the company or into the capital, into the um, the, uh, the investment. Okay, then. Income, it means all the money that the company gets from the public, okay? From its clients, from the market, yeah? It's the money that gets into the company. They acquire, okay? And these statements is the report that summarizes a company's incomes and also expenses and also it has the profits, the profits. How much money did we get over the investment? The money that we have in our hands or in our bank accounts, right? In our bank account. Do you know what a bank account is? Do you have bank accounts? Yes. Okay, then. Okay. So companies have money in the bank. Okay, company has the money in a bank. So that's the income, all the money that goes to their own hands. Okay, uh, but this is a report that shows a period of time of that movement, of that money movement, okay? As, uh, I, I can tell you um, that this period of time is to compare other periods of time, okay? The behavior, right? To show the behavior if it grows or if it decreases, if it increases or if it decreases, okay? Increases, going up. Decreases, going down, okay? So here you have a little arrow. Do you see the arrow in this infography? Okay, this is increasing, increasing, okay? 
increase. We are going to write those words because they are very important, okay? Increase and decrease, okay? Increase, going up, decrease, going down. Increase more money, decrease less money, okay? Now, we said another thing, bank account. Okay. By the way, uh, when we when we put our money in our bank account, that's an income. Okay, how do we call the transaction to put the money into a bank account? How do we call that? We call it deposit. Okay, deposit. When you put your money, your income into a bank account, we call that transaction to deposit or deposit. What if we want to take out the, uh, that money that you belong and you have it in a bank account? Ah, that's a withdrawal, okay? Withdrawal. When you take out the money from your bank account. These are very important words for this unit, okay? Increase, decrease, bank account, deposit, and withdrawal. Okay? There we are. Did you, did you take notes about those words? Yes, may I erase? Please. Excuse me? Wait one moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to write them again. Okay, we said increase, decrease, mm -hmm. bank account. And what do we do? We put in, in, in our bank account the money, we call it deposit. Okay, and if we take out that money from our bank account, then it's a withdrawal, okay? Withdrawal, withdrawal, yes, withdrawal, a withdrawal, okay, a withdrawal. We could call it withdrawal, okay, or withdrawal to the transaction. Thank you. Okay, okay, everybody. Okay with this? Or do you have a question? Okay, this is just the introduction, okay? This is just the introduction to unit four. So let's go to the next uh, financial statement. Mm-hmm. Equity statement. Equity statement. Do you have any idea what an equity statement is? Okay, let's read the definition to have the best concept in our minds. Okay, just let me go there. reports the changes in the retained earnings of a company during the stated period of time. Earnings, earnings, retained earnings. This is the key word, okay? This is the key word. Oh, just let me take this off. And now this is the key word of this concept, okay? Retained earnings, earnings. What is a return earn? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. What is a return earn? What is a retained earning? 
Ah, return earning. Okay. It's like bienes retenidos. Yes, correct, correct. Is the money that uh, goes to the capital of the company because, well, it is right there. It, it is not used. It had to be, um, it is part of the incomes. It, it is part of the incomes, but um, we don't share these with our shareholders because uh, it's not stipulated like that because they have an amount to get, right? For, uh, because of the percentages. So they become into a retained earning. We don't, we don't know yet the use of that money. And we have to make decisions about those retained earnings, right? Okay, Carlos, can you give us a little explanation about the, about the bienes retenidos or retained earnings? Okay, teacher. The retained earnings is um, usually when we have a, in one year we can get money that the, for the sales on another type or incomes. Okay, in income end, money. In, mm -hmm. Income money. And the end of the period, usually you we 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 saw the the incomes, outcomes, and the difference and after we pay the um, I don't remember impuestos teacher. Taxes? Taxes, okay. Yes. Uh, after we, we pay taxes. And the remain in the in that uh, account is a is a retained earnings because usually the companies don't pay all the money at your owner owners. Okay. Um, um, that money is used to continue continue uh, operation in the next year. But in this case, this um, statement, we used to see the income in retained earnings in the last year. And now we can see if we are more retained earnings or if we are uh, loses earning and that is the use to, to the that statement. Okay, thank you very much. So okay. we know now that they make uh, these mathematical uh, <clears throat> formula, right? Income less outcomes, then uh, you obtain the retained earnings. And this money goes to the capital for operations in the next period of time. And there, okay, this report, shows shows if it increases right or decreases correct okay thank you very much carlos now we had an accounting class to, tonight <laughs> Mm, very nice. Now we are going to be promoted. Okay. <laughs> so let me erase this and let's go to the next to the next thing here. Okay. And this is the last report. Let me get there. And then we have the balance, right? We have the balance sheet. Okay, what is a balance sheet? Do you have any idea? Any one of you has an idea of what a balance sheet is? It's a report, right? It's a financial statement 
that reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point of time, okay? Owner's quality at a given point of time. So this is another summary, right? It's another summary. So now let's go to our manuals. Okay, balance sheet is more common for us, right? Balance sheet is more common for us because I think this is the one who contains almost everything, right? Or, or, or a summary of everything, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, tell me. That's, that uh, report is more, more useful to, for, for, for us because uh, or, or for, for all, because mm -hmm. if you want, if, if you want take a credit, for example, you can uh, see your own accounts and you can uh, show the, your, your properties and your liabilities and I have to pay and I, Usually, usually we can we have a, a balance sheet, sheet because uh, we have to eval evaluate evaluate, evaluate the, the the our situations in a moment that I have a take a credit for example. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Carlos. So. Uh... Anyone wants to give an opinion about this? Teacher, good evening. Hi, hello, good evening. Welcome to your class. Well, I see that you came in uh, in um, some while ago, but uh, okay, tell us, tell us, Wilfred. Yeah. I can see that you're talking about a report. That yes, can accounting. Accounting. And it is a uh, use it by, by company, but can be used for us. Oh, yes. Because right. in this sheet, we can write all our costs in, in our, uh, how do you say, ganancias? Pro profits. Profit. Profit. And then we can we can do it every month, or we can choose some period to do it every okay. month, every week, or every years. Okay. Then we can we can do a, a value or an analysis. Uh -huh. say? Evaluation or analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay about our company or about business that we okay. have. Then, but it is important report because we can, we can see in, in this document, if we, we are uh, getting uh, so much money. Yes, you're right. So it takes us to think about, um, this thing that we always do. We are always thinking about our own budget, right? Budget. It means the money that we have available to acquire or to pay our services that we need to, um, for example, to live in the house, we have some services to pay, okay? Those are like liabilities, right? But we have some assets too. Our assets may be, it's our furniture, our land, our family, our health is our asset too, right? So we think about budget. What do we earn and how much do we spend, okay? How much do we earn, okay? We could ask this question. We usually don't ask this question, but if you ask someone, you would ask how much do you earn and how much do you spend? 
Let's think about a, per a period of time. I'm sorry, let's think about a period of time. Let's see, monthly, okay? And how much do you spend monthly, right? Get it? Yeah. Usually the companies pays, our payroll goes into a bank account. So we have to open a bank account, right? We have to open a bank account. What if you don't want that bank account? Then you cancel the bank account, okay? Okay, this is vocabulary that we're going to use. Okay, this is vocabulary. Let's see. Uh, Wilfredo told us that maybe the balance sheet, it's a report that it can be managed by a company or in the personal field, right? In the personal field. We need to know how much do we earn and how much do we spend, okay? So those are our outcomes and our incomes, okay? Our incomes, what is our income here? Ah, how much do we earn, right? Our salary, right? Salary is our personal income, okay? And our, um, in this case, expenses, I think, right? Will be, yeah, expenses are like services, And our assets could be mm, food, for example, okay? Food, health, how much we spend in health. Those things have taxes also, right? Taxes, etc. You see? So it could be personal or it could be made or managed by a company. In this case, we are talking about a company uh, because our manual is telling us, but let's see here. Let's see in our manuals. Let me erase this. Oh, is it okay if I erase? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. There we go. So balance sheet. Now we're going to see if we um, um, comprehend this thing. And let's match the different financial statements with their definitions, okay? Let's match the different financial statements with their definitions, okay? Can you get in and write the answers here? For example, letter A. Can you please, uh, let's see, Edward, can you please match letter A with the correct definition here? Okay. Cash okay, flow, teacher. cash flow, uh-huh. Everybody helping here. What number is okay. the definition of cash flow? Number three. Okay, Edward. Angeli is saying that number three is the correct definition. What do you think? Um, permit, permit, estoy, I am analyzing. Okay. No teacher, I don't understand. Um... Okay, let's remember that for understanding a definition, we need some keywords. 
Do you know what a keyword is? Keywords. The keywords. In this case, let's see. Cash flow. What is the keyword in the definition? Cash. Okay. Let's look for a definition with that word in it. Cash. Okay, Angeli uh, said it. Uh -huh. I, I, I think um, number three for okay. keyword in this case is outcoming of cash. Okay, incoming and outcoming of cash. Good, good, Edward. Now incoming let's think it is letter A. Um, is it possible for everyone to access to the screen and write the, the answers? Is it possible for everyone to access to the screen, to the board and do the annotations? Okay, please be my guest there. You are going to be the one who is writing. Oh, thank you very much, Edward. There you go. Hey, hey, good. Now let's see. Letter B, income statements. Income statements. Who wants to write the right answer? Remember the keywords. Income statements. Number four, teacher. Okay, good. Can someone write the answer, please? Type in the answer. Okay, good. Experiences at and provides over a period of time. Okay, thank you very much, Rita. You are correct. Francisco, can you write the, can you type in the answer, please? For, uh, for the number four. Letter B. Yes, letter B. Yes, can you type it in? Lo puede escribir en la, pizza, en, la, en la pantalla? Thank you. Now, next. Leslie, what do you think? A good statement, what is the correct answer? What is the definition that matches? Mm -hmm. Help Leslie, everyone, please. Leslie, please. Everybody helping Leslie. Yes, I know it's very interesting what is happening in our country, guys. I'm really interested in the news too, but hey, come on, we are in class. <laughs> Let me be balancing shit. E e oh, we don't say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't say that word. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, um, <laughs> it is sheet. Okay, sheet. <laughs> yes, because the other, the other word is gross. Okay, the other word is gross. So we don't use that. You get it? <laughs> Balance sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, tell me. I think Leslie is thinking about the <laughs> mission. <laughs> oh, my God. You're <laughs> right, Carlos. Uh, that's what he really wanted to, to give his opinion, right, about. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let's go back to formal okay let's go back to formal everyone <laughs> now let's see equity statement equity statement can you tell us rosa and help leslie please equity statement teacher yes, I, I i think is uh -huh. um number number one Okay, good. Can you type it in, please? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Leslie, there you go. You see, no, uh, letter C is number one, okay? So what is number two, guys? Letter D. Balance okay. Balance sheet. Can anyone please type that letter D in, please? <laughs> there you go thank you very much francisco there you are you see these are the answers matching the different financial statements with their definitions okay do you have any question about this do you have any question about this vocabulary No, teacher. Liability uh -huh. teacher. Debts. The money that you have to pay for something. Okay. For a service that you receive in your company, for example, um, yeah, debts. Debts, right? Those are debts. Como deuda, right? Uh, they call they call it deberes, right? Or deber, el debe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue in our manuals. Okay, let's continue in our manuals and let's discuss these things. Do you think are they important? Do you think the financial statements are important? What do you think? <laughs> Are the financial statements important for a company? Hey guys, here we are. And let's discuss with a partner, okay? The, the following ideas. Right now, uh, we are going to break out into the uh, groups and then you are going to discuss this. But the thing that I want you to do right in this moment is to understand what we are going to do. We are going to discuss these three statements. Uh, what does it say? Number one, it says it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a, a company has. Number two, last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to have the comp to save the company. I'm sorry. Number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent, okay? Invested or spent. So number one, let's do, let's do number one here together and then you do two and three, okay? And the groups. It's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. What do you think? Is it important or isn't so important? 
What do you think? What do you think? Um, let's see, Fausto. I think Fa Fausto is watching the news too, right? <laughs> okay. Fausto, are you there? Maybe he's driving. Hi, teacher. Okay, there you are, Fausto. What do you think, Fausto? Do you think uh, the financial uh, statements are important for a company? Mm, I think, uh, yes, teacher. Very Is it important? important? Yes. Okay. Why do you think that? Why do you think so? Uh, uh, I think. I think. Uh, I don't. Uh huh. What do you think also, Walter? I think. Uh, I think important teacher. It's important. Okay, it's In important. Company. Why do you think so? Why do you think so? Because uh, I remember the teacher. Okay, uh, let's read the this statement here, Walter. You see the incomes and outcomes, these are very good words. Incomes, money that they get, outcomes, money that they spend. Okay. So it's important because because they need to know about their profits, right? They need to know if the outcomes are less than the incomes to see if they are making profits, okay? This is my opinion. Okay, now I need to know your opinion about this. And we are going to break out this room into groups and you are going to discuss, but I need you to use the vocabulary, okay? Go back to the pages that you took notes and then please use your vocabulary. There we go. Este, ¿Qué onda? ¿Entendés lo que, lo que vamos a hacer? No. We are going to discuss, okay? We are going uh, to discuss. Leslie, do you know or you, do you understand what we have to do? We need to discuss. Discuss about, about the first paragraph. I don't know, Mr. 
Okay, go to page 39. Go to page 39 in your in your manual. Page 39, right? Is that? Yes. Okay, then in the activity, number three, it is right. What number is it? Let me check. It's activity three. In the activity three. Are you there, Leslie? Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, let's read the instruction. It says pair work. Trabajo en pares, en de dos personas, right? Discuss sí. with a partner, Wilfredo is your partner, the following ideas. And you have to give your opinion, but also you have to give reasons why you think in that way. So number one, says, can you read the number one, Leslie, please? Mm. Yes, please, read it. It's it not too important to know about the cons and, and outcomes the company has. Okay, what do you think about that, Leslie? Do you agree with that? Um, sentence or a statement? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you agree? Is it important? Isn't that important? Or it's very important or not so important to know about the money that a company gets or to know about the money that the company spent? What do you think? It's very important. Okay, now, can you tell me why do you think like that? Okay, uh, why, why do you think it is very important? Why do you think mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Because, or I think that, say, I think that the company, this and this and that. Mm -hmm. mm. Leslie, do you want mm -hmm. to hear Wilfredo's opinion? Yes. Okay, yes, I want to. So can you please, Leslie, ask Wilfredo? What do you think about number one? Leslie, ask, what do you think? Repeat with me. Say it with me. What do you think? What do you think? About number one, Wilfredo. About number one, Wilfredo. Okay. Okay, for me, it is very, very important because the company can can see if um, their business are good or are bad because in this and in this case the company has to evaluate your income and your outcomes. Mm -hmm. Then they have to eva <clears throat> evaluate uh, their, pro their profits. Then it is very important uh, that the company knows about all your incomes and outcomes. They have to evaluate about salary, they have to evaluate all your your spend with a payroll with another cost into the company. When the period finished, they have to make a balance. If they have profit, 
o bar uh, how do you say lost oh, lost or oh, they lost money this is my opinion about uh, it, it could be a paragraph or sentence Just statement <clears throat> we say statement statement yeah this even though opinion. it's not a report it's a statement um, okay. aunque eso no es un reporte pero es como una oración o una afirmación right it's a statement Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, what do you think, Leslie? Do you agree uh, with Wilfredo? Uh, es que dice que la idea la tengo, pero este... Don't worry, don't worry. Let's do it step by step. Don't Pero worry. Eh... Empecemos mm -hmm. por una cosa, ¿ok? Por una cosa sería una pequeña oración, ¿ok? Una pequeña oración. I think it is important, right? Mm -hmm. I think I... it is important. Mm -hmm. I be... think... Uh -huh. Because... Because. Uh -huh. Now, what do you think? Tell me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is very important uh, because, uh, uh, como sería, uh, para mantener fijo el trabajo de los de los empleados to save to save the employment okay mm -hmm. of the people right to save to, to save mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the employment of people the employment of the people of the people yeah, there you are. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Excellent. Number two. Number two. Let's go to number two. Will you read, Leslie, the, number, the statement number two? Do you mind if I go to another room? Okay. Do you mind? Okay. I'm going to another room. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you. Yes, please, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Hi. teacher. How are you doing? Good. What do you think? Good. What do you think? What number are you in? Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, and what do you think? It's not clear for me the, the idea. Okay, imagine this is a thing that happened. Okay, and you have to analyze if it was a correct thing that this company did or if it is not a correct thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see your company's owner. Okay, the person who owns the company fired many people, a lot of people without a job now, okay? The owner mm -hmm. carried such actions to save the company. He had to fire that people because he couldn't pay the salary, right? What do you think about that? Hmm. I think that sometimes it is impossible to pay uh, because the company is not working well, but it is not the solution because we have to look for actions to make our company uh, get money and to attract clients. Mm. And that is not the only uh, solution, I think. Okay, what do you think, Francisco? 
No, no sé cómo formular la, la expresión. Let's try, let's try, word by word, let's see. Eh, depend eh, de, de, de que sea una idea algo compleja. Ok, let's go simple, let's go simple. Ok. Eh, how do you say ganancias in English? Profits. Profit. Profits. Profits. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, depend uh, the profit, the profit uh, that uh, the owners uh, uh, want or it's getting. Want, uh, it's, it's, it's getting. Uh, mm, Usually, uh, the owners um, want high profit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, how do you say a costo de? Um, uh, uh, towards. 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 Mm -hmm. um, towards a... Um, Mm, say in many many areas many areas many areas areas mm -hmm. okay uh well in this case it's not really towards because i thought you were gonna say a different thing let me get a very good expression just let me get one okay Okay. Yeah, the, the best, I, I didn't want to say the common one, but the common one is, the common is uh, in the expenses of, okay? In the expenses of. Como a costa de, right? In the expenses of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that when a company is new, they have to start with a few employees because I I know about a company here that it was a new company and they started to hire many employees mm -hmm. and in a few months the company was was broke oh. because they couldn't they couldn't keep the company so Let me study investigation uh, about. Okay, sorry, I was assigning someone else and it, <sighs> it took me over there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, you felt that you were talking alone, but no, you have your two <laughs> classmates. <laughs> okay. You were talking to yourself, but you have your partners there, okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, you're right. Uh, yeah, I think so too, like Sylvia, because do you remember on quarantine? Do you remember on quarantine? Mm -hmm, yes. Yeah. What happened, right? I think it's the, the second uh, statement that mm -hmm. we have there. The real thing happened, okay? And many companies are still closed teacher, here in yes, yes. In the where I live. Mm -hmm. Yes, they broke. They broke. Yes. Yeah. A lot of them, a lot, and not only in this country, yeah, around the world, I think, mm, yeah. the world. But I think that's that that has to be the last option, right? To fire people, they mm. have to fight, uh, looking for some other solutions. Don't you think so? Yes. Yeah. The the other solution could be um, uh, decreasing or. Uh, putting low the price, lowering the price prices to sell more and do mm -hmm. more money in the in a little or in a shorter period of, of time, and then you can put uh, go back to the normal um, to the normal price, right, uh, of your product. But in this case, well, I think there are there are other solutions. There are there are other, but in this case, obviously, it's not. 
is not um, to invest a solution. In this case, it's not to invest a solution. So he had to fire these people. I think he didn't have any other option, right? What do you think? It's, it's hey, not, guys. Uh, it's not a, a better solution. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, what do you think, Angeli? I think, um, for example, in my company when was the quarantine, uh, how did they reduce? Uh, they reduced. They reduced the salary. And it was very difficult for us, but uh, it was, um, uh, how do you say, uh, sacrifice? Sacrifice. Sacrifice uh, for, for a period of time. Okay. And I think uh, that was better that uh, that uh, that they they take a decision to fire to a many people because yes, right. we are a many people in that company. Okay. Okay. Yes, you're right. Okay, guys, keep keep going with number three. You are doing a great job. So I'm going to another room. Okay, see you. Okay, Bye. see you. See you. Bye. 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 Okay, in my case, it's important, important, uh, a customer, the company, because all dependents, our world depends and final final balance. Como que le quiero decir que depende del trabajo de cómo vayan las finanzas. Y, y por lo menos la número dos, eh, pregunta la compañía. Eh, I doing that the this taking evaluation has to be done. Pienso que tiene que hacer este tipo de evaluación, nos dice. Porque pregunta que si dice que el, el empresario el año pasado despidió un porcentaje de personas y que conforme a esa acción lo hizo para salvar la compañía. Entonces yo, ni que, yo pienso que sí se tiene que hacer, digo, ese tipo de evaluaciones. Si es necesario. Okay, let's use Mira. our vocabulary, our English vocabulary. <laughs> I did that in the okay. evaluation. Okay. And how the one done. And has to be and done. And number three, um, Monday, everybody to chat. Everybody to chat or with their points to go. Much uh, can be invested in or spent. Uh, it's what because, do you think? It, uh, it's because it's necessary. Um, inverting uh, for the, um, the continuum. Uh, a growing as company. Okay. Crecer, así se dice. Grow. 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 Uh, yes, to grow. Ah, grow. To grow mm -hmm. company. Okay. So, Maria Fernanda, did you say your opinion already? Yes. Uh, I think is very important because uh, for this dependence uh, rentability the the organizations and uh, 
if uh, registrar, ¿cómo se dice registrar? Register. Register eh, incomes and outcomes eh, the company eh, can't go with eh, finance. Finance, yes. Entonces, eh, so, this is very bad for, 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 for company. And, um, and, ¿cómo se dice cada una? Each one. Each one eh, actions. Eh, eh, um, to follow, to continue, to do, to decide, exactly. to make. <laughs> eh, everything, a eh, company eh, eh, and have for, 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 eh, mantener. To keep or to maintain. To, to maintain for, for, for organizations. Okay. Eh, eh, sí, en cualquier área. O sea, que ellos... In any area, okay, in any field that they want to get in. For example, we, we're talking about markets, okay? We're talking about markets, right? Yes, you're right. They have to make decisions. So if you don't have a, a report where you see what did I get and what did I spend, Ah, uh, then I don't know what ha what is happening, right? I don't know. I am blinded. Okay, I am blind. So in that case, I think you don't know. You don't know the actions that you are going to take. But if you know the man the income and you know the outcomes, okay, then you can make a balance, right? You can make a balance between them. Because income cannot be less. Income has to be more than the outcomes, right? So it's that the use, yes, it's very important. And, and also service to have a, a evidence, evidence. Evidence. Uh, evidence for, for the actions. Yes, you're right. And for the incomes and outcomes and uh, uh, tanto de money and, and the este, personal. Personal, or, personal. Exactly. Okay, good. Let's remember the difference between personal and personal. Do you remember okay. that difference? Okay. okay, there you go. Okay, you are doing a great job, guys. Continue, please keep up your conversation and I'm going to another room, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, everyone. Now, it's the time to define what accounting is, okay? Here I have a definition, okay? Can you read it, please, Carla? Okay. 
Carla Marielos. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you please read this definition? The process of planning, recording, analyzing, and inter interpreting financial information. Okay, good. So, what, uh, what do you think accounting is in your own words? Let's see, Rita, in your own words. Um, the process, the... Um, Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm sorry. Financial, mm -hmm. the, the uh, store, or mm -hmm. okay, yeah, but you are right, you are right. It's a process, right? Why it is a process because it has steps on it. Okay, accounting is the process. Okay, what is the first step? Planning, okay. What is the first step? Planning. What is the other step? Recording, right? What is the other step? Analyzing, correct? And what is the other step? To interpret, right? To interpret. What do we have to interpret? Interpret. Ah, we have to interpret financial information. What do we use to do all this? The financial statements. Okay, the financial statements. Now let's let's think. Let's think here. What do you think? accounting has to be? How can we describe, let's think about a person. Let's think about a person. The person who prepares all the things of accounting, maybe the chief accountant. What do you think are the qualities or the words that we can use to describe the right accountant or the right person? words to describe the right accountant. Vamos a buscar ahorita palabras que podamos usar para describir a un excelente contador. Okay? Can you tell me in English some words that can define a good accountant? A responsible person and okay, and responsible. Mm -hmm. Ability. Be, teacher. Uh huh. You have to be uh, organized. Organized. Yes. Organized. Um, Excuse me. Now in English, how do you say? Uh, tied up. Um. It has to be, yeah, tied up, tied it, tied it. Organized, it's like that. Up, yeah, or ordered. Had to be. Organized? Uh, teacher. Yes. Had to be honest. We could say another like this. Tidy, tidy. Yes. Excuse me, Walter. Uh, has to be honest. Honest. Good. Uh huh. Yes. Another word. Let's see, Angeli. Let's see, Edward. Like the uh, numbers. Excuse me? How do you say disciplinado? Disciplined. Disciplined. Mm -hmm. You said something, Rita. What, what did you mean? 
Like the numbers. Oh, okay. Uh, someone who like to work with numbers, right? Good. Uh -huh. Excuse me, someone said something. What the meaning of uh, uh, what they say uh, integral? Integral. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Loyal. Mm -hmm. Loyal. Yes, loyal. Mm -hmm. Loyal. Someone is watching the news with the volume two up. One second, let me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Okay, someone said a thing, but I didn't get it because of the interference. Can you repeat, please, another word to describe a good accountant? We said responsible, organized, tidy, honest, dis disciplined, likes to work with numbers, integral, loyal. What else? Okay, now let's describe a bad accountant. Let's describe an, an, a negative person, okay? With negative characteristics. Can you tell me some negative characteristics? Right? Disorganized. What else? Excluding. Excluding. Uh, what do you mean with this? Um, excluyente. Okay. Uh, it means that he can't work in teams? Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. Okay, okay. Okay. What else? A negative. Dishonest. A, dishonest. Yes, you're right. Uh huh. Unloyal, right? Unloyal. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, tell me. How do you say mañoso in English? <laughs> oh, <laughs> aha, with tricks, right? With tricks. Yes, there is a word. There is a word, but uh, I don't, at the moment, I don't remember, remember the bad word, but just give me one second. I'm going to get the formal way to say that. Just let me get there. Just let me get there. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Uh, he likes to rob, right? He likes to rob. He likes to make tricks and those kind of things. Let me check. Mañoso, the word mañoso. Okay, let's see. Uh, did you find it? Mañoso? Who found it? Did you look it up? Yeah, tricky person. Yes, this is what I thought, but there is another word. It's a bad word and I yeah. didn't want to say like slick or something, but yes, uh, we could say a yeah. tricky, tricky person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one, Rosa? Chief. Yeah. Chief. Yeah. Chief, do you think it is? Como if the la, el ladrón, 
Oh, thief. Yes. Okay. Thank you, thief. Yeah. Thief. Yes. You're right. You're right because they uh, can make these kind of things because it's money, right? It's money oh, it's what they nice. work with. Yes, you're right. So if you see here, guys, these words are called adjectives, okay? These are adjectives. So now can you tell me what an adjective is? What do you think it's an adjective? It's a word that, it's a word that, can you tell me, can describe anyone? Describe the person. Okay, it's a word that describes, yeah, describes a person, an animal too, a thing, a situation, right? It's a word that modifies. What is the purpose to use an adjective? What is the purpose to use an adjective? What is the purpose? Can you tell me? What is, uh, when do you use an adjective? When? When do you use this kind of words? When you want to be specific with something, right? About the person, about that animal, about that situation. Specific describing, um, characteristic, specifications, right? So let's let's see now a little definition about adjectives. It's very important for us to know about adjectives. Okay. So an adjective is a word, it is a word that describes have something there that it's a word that describes a thing, animal, or person. And the adjectives can be positive or negative, okay? Adjectives can be positive and negative. We saw it with the accountant, right? So now let's go to our manuals. And let's see in the little box that we have in the next page, in page 40, okay? And we have these two new words. We have a word that is so and such. Let's see, someone is sending a text me message here. Oh my God. Okay. But are you in Carlos Ernesto? Because- Yes, does. teacher. Okay, welcome. Yes, welcome, I'm Carlos here. Ernesto. Okay. okay. We, we're you, okay, no problem. Okay, we're talking about the accounting vocabulary and we are relating these adjectives to an accountant, right? A person. But in this case, let's see what or how can we make these adjectives with emphasize, okay? To emphasize if it is very or it is not so, okay? So or not so, such a or such some, okay? We are going to see right now the use of this, okay? We are gonna see the use of this. Let's read the first box. It is so necessary for the company. It is so necessary for the company. Necessary is the adjective, right? It is so important to check the report. Important is the adjective. The projects, were so well made. Well is the adjective, right? Our ideas were so imaginative. Okay, then we have imaginative as the adjective here, okay? Do you see here the use of so? So, so, so. We use so with an adjective to make it more emphasized okay that it is very necessary very important so it means very well made very imaginative okay <clears throat> do you see the difference here but um do you see the use of so let's 
activate our audios and please repeat after me. It is so necessary for the company. It is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports. It is, it is so important, important to check, to check the, the report. The projects were so well made. The projects were so, so well made. made. Our ideas were so imaginative. Our ideas were so imaginative. Okay, now let's see how do we use such to make this adjective more mm -hmm. emphasized or in a way we can embellish this adjective a little more, okay? So if we're talking about, for example, in the first sentence, creative, let's see, we use such to make it more, okay? To express and emphasize here. Okay, let's see. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant, I'm sorry, okay. Okay, I'm going to read and then you repeat. Number one, it is such a creative program. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big su success. The last product was such a big, a big success. success. Okay, let's read it again. It is such a creative program. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. The last product was such Yes, such a big success. Now, let's see here. Do you see such here? We use it also with an adjective, but we need, this is very important. When we use such, we need the adjective, but we need a noun, okay? We need a noun. We can't use such without a noun. We can use such <coughs> without a noun. All right, we cannot. So let's read the activity number five and we are going to make it in five minutes. Let's see, complete the sentences with so or such. Let's complete the sentences with so or such. Let's read number one. Let's see, Carlos Ernesto, number one, please. Uh, only read, teacher. Only reading, yes. Okay. It is a good to know the cash flow. They are. They are? Life. Okay, everyone, they are? So or such? Such. Okay, let's see the difference. With such, we need so. the adjective, but a noun too. Here we don't have a noun, we have only the adjective. So we they use so, important. so, okay? So. Exactly, they are so important. We have only the adjective, we don't have any noun there, okay? Number two, please, Rosa. Your architect is a social, a creative woman. Good, Rosa, excellent. The architect is such a creative woman. A creative woman. Yes, the architect is such a creative woman. Okay, number three, let's see, please. Um, Walter, are you there, Walter? Number three, please. <clears throat> 
wireless okay. internet access is so convenient. Okay, invention. <laughs> excellent, Francisco, excellent. Okay, Walter, do you agree? Do you agree okay. with number three? Wireless internet access is so convenient. Convenient, convenient. Convenient. Yes. Okay, wireless, wireless, okay, wireless internet access is so convenient. Okay. Why so? Because we have no a noun here, okay? We don't have a noun. We have only the adjective, correct? Number four. Okay, Francisco, now it's your turn. Okay. R. So All the invention we create are so popular. Okay. What do you think, Angeli? Yes, it's so popular. So popular, yes. All the inventions we created are so popular. Number five, let's see number five, Rita, please. The computer was such a significant invention. Excellent. Excellent, very good, Rita. Now, Maria Fernanda, number six. Checking your financial statement was uh, so difficult before. Okay, good. You see, now we know how to use so and such to make more emphasis or, em yeah, more emphasis when we describe or when we say a characteristic of something or someone, okay? Now, in this, in this manual, okay? In this manual, we have a conversation here and it's very important. This is the next topic that we are going to talk about tomorrow. I need you to please read it in your house Okay, and the first activity we are going to do tomorrow will be practicing this conversation, okay? We are going to practice this. At the moment, do you have any question about what we saw today? What did we learn? Yeah, okay. Do you have any question about the content? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Como no estuve en casi toda la clase, el video ya va a estar ahí para verlo. Yes, of course. Tomorrow you will have it. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay, para poder good. entender porque estoy yes, como perdidito. You're right. Ahorita. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's very important to be in the whole class. But yes, I know that. About your tire. Ok, you had this inconvenient on the on the road, right? So yes, and I'm so sorry for that. Maybe you were in a very uh, big stress, right? You were in a very yes. big stress at night, yes. maybe raining and with a flat tire. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now guys, just let me take the attendance and let me recheck who is going <laughs> Be with me. Let me open this because it got closed. It's closed. Why? I did it and I didn't realize what I was doing. Just give me one second. Okay, it's not this one. It is this one. Today is May the 4th. 
it is for Sandra Beatriz the turn for the assessment. Do you want the uh, some? Okay, I'm sorry. Any one of you wants to take this turn tonight? Any one of you wants to stay with me to solve any dot? Only one, please. <laughs> only one, only one. <laughs> Okay, just let me take the attendance. Meanwhile, you think about it, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay, Carlos Antonio Muri Hernandez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Present, teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present, teacher. Okay, Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Mm, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Sandra Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Ok. There we are. Okay, guys, it's time. Okay, time is over. So our class is dismissed. The class is over too. So any one of you wants to stay with me? Do you have any question? Not today? No, no questions? Okay, then let me remind you, please, do your homework, okay? Hay algunos que no hicieron el midterm test. Necesito que por favor vayan y que lo le den submit a esas a esos exámenes. Si no les aparece nota, les va a quedar bien bajo y probablemente se arriesguen a perder el curso. Mira, acuérdense que necesitan aprobar con el 80% de uh, rendimiento académico y necesitan también el 80% de las asistencias. Entonces, unidos, ya baja un montón si no hacen una de las tareas. Por favor, no hagan caso omiso y vayan a la plataforma y terminen los formularios que no hayan terminado, por favor. Ahora, en esta vez, creo que el 10 de mayo va a ser la última fecha para hacerlo. Así que vayamos al día para que al final no tengamos problemas y vayan a decir, ay, es que ya no me dejó la plataforma y ya no la podemos reactivar. Acuérdese que esto no depende de nuestra escuela, sino que de Insafort directamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, es necesario que todos les respondamos a quien nos está eh, patrocinando acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, chicos, then, have a good night, and let's meet us tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Have a good rest. Good night, good night, good night, good night everybody. Good night, everyone.